Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Roaring Rescue Daniel and the Lion's Den. Let's read. God's people disobeyed him, so he let their enemies take them to in them into capital. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of the Jewish to their own country, Babylon. So God's people disobeyed God again. So like He led his people their enemies take them. <coughs> Jerusalem was destroyed and they take Jerusalem carried away many people <laughs> Daniel was one of the Jewish in Babylon who trusted God and prayed to him three times a day. God blessed Daniel and he became a powerful leader in that country. So Daniel was one of the Jewish in Babylon. So he trusted God and prayed every day three times. So God was pressed and blessed Daniel. He was a powerful leader in, in that country. You're jealous of Daniel. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new rule. People could only pray to King Darius. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into the lion's den. Darius agreed. So some leaders were very jealous of Daniel because Daniel was forgetter and he was the powerful leader. So like they were jealous of Daniel and they tried to find Daniel's fault. They f were finding and keep finding but they couldn't see. But like they thought that whoever uh, whoever pray to another God it, who doesn't pray to King Darius will like, turn into the lion's death. Um, praying to God is not a bad thing, but King Darius wanted the people to worship him. So Darius agreed. God blessed Daniel and made him a powerful leader in Babylon. True. Daniel still prayed to God, so he was arrested. 
Doris was sad because he liked Daniel. He realized he had been tricked, but he couldn't change the rule. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. So, like, Daniel still prayed to God. He knew the rule, but he still prayed to God. And like, Doris was very like surprised and was sad because he loved Daniel, liked Daniel, and Doris knew that he was tricked. Doris was Doris something. Like, but still. So, but the king can change the rule every day, like that, because Daniel is doesn't pray God. He uh, prays to God, so like he couldn't change the new rule because king can. King can like change the rule every time when he wants. Let's see what happens. The lion roared and crept up to Daniel, and then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lion's mouth. Daniel spent the night there. A hard. Unheard. So the lions roared and creep up to Daniel, and like they were going to eat Daniel, but like a, an angel came and shut the lion's mouth. So like Daniel sleep there night unharmed. Wow. <laughs> Was Daniel arrested and threw into the lion's den because he prayed to God? Yes. At daybreak, Doris went to see if Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save me. Daniel said the king was through. Daniel was pulled out of the den. So like he prayed, an angel came, and next day like Doris was so. Before Daniel goes into the lion's den, Doris will, Doris said like your God will help you. So like quickly, at the daybreak, Doris went to see if Daniel is alive, and like Daniel was alive. You're <laughs> surprised. God can do everything. Then God and then King Dress had Daniel and me thrown into the den. The lions grumbled at them. King Dress told everyone in his kingdom to honor their Daniel's powerful living God. When Daniel was thrown into the den, God's people protect him from what kind of animal? Number one, a donkey. Number two, mm, a bird. <laughs> Number three, the lion. 
Number three was the correct answer. Yesterday, I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time, I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. 